Okay, so what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to get some audio in here. And uh, um, I got this little thing I want to play with. Um, Actually, I should probably get into asking for permission for this, but whatever, I'm doing it right now, and we'll see what happens. Um, so, I've got this sound. I went and I recorded it off of uh, YouTube someplace. Okay, because I want to do this little... It's a mixture of Fatboy Slim and Greta. And uh, first thing, I just dragged and dropped it. It was a good wave file. You have to make sure it's a good wave file. Sometimes if it's compressed funny, it won't work. Um, and... If you ever want to get a hold of it, it's here. Sound. There's the Greta Audio. And what is it? I made it a wave file. Okay, everything else. Anything here that I want to get into. There's an offset. And right now, the dialogue doesn't start till like a frame 125. So maybe I might want to bump that up here. If I take this offset and I put it to 120. Boop. Oh, wrong way. Negative 120. There. I moved it up to the front. And I could edit the audio as well. Okay. Okay, so there's the first thing that I wanted to get done. Moving the audio around. And you can also do things like right-click, uh, set range to um, the sound length. And what have I got? 1,500 frames of sound. That's a lot. Okay. Also remember that when you're doing this, you need your playback speed to be on real time. Otherwise, it won't work. So when I press play... Get away with this. Okay, works. Um... And actually, let's get rid of those frames there. So if I take that and I put it to zero, great. And I don't want to look at all of this. This is going to take far too long. Um, <clears throat> and I just want to find the dialogue here. And you can see here with the audio, you can kind of see what's going on a little bit. Um, if you go into the render settings, uh, here you can change your height. So I can put it to four times so you can see a bigger wave file. Okay, it makes things a little bit easier. We will not. Okay, so now there's a couple different things I can do here. Um, you can go to uh, into the animation editors. You can go into the shape editor, <clears throat> and you can hit keyframes here. Um, if you select the blend shape, right click, select blend shape node, you'll see it pops over into the side, and you can press S. I already think I made a. Is this one here? Yeah, select blend shape one. Okay, so that, I made a little button and popped it onto my shelf. If you just go down here and you type in select and blend starts with a lowercase b and then uppercase s shape one right there. I think I did that all right. I can go and take that and middle click it, drop it up here, make it a mail script, and boom, that. Whenever I want to select that, boop, hit it. And <clears throat> so I'm going to do this with a very limited amount of blend shapes as well. Okay, and you can add more if you want to. If I maybe I'll make another video where I add more just for the fun of it. But um, let's see. We won't let you get away with this. We will not. Okay. So for the wee face, so maybe first let's uh, close the mouth a little bit. Um, I should maybe make one that's kind of a bit more closed, but I should have a solemn face in here. Anyway, we'll say the M is that. Okay, good enough. And then we're going to go ahead here to the... Let's turn that off. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the F, no, no... We that's going to be an ooey kind of face. Okay, I'm going to hit S. And then we get up to here, we're going to turn that oo off, and then we're going to turn that into an E, or an S kind of face. And then we got another won't in there, so I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to go and take this and go to an oo. Okay, so then I'm going to take that ooh, and I'm doing this without, I, I haven't done this one before, so we're just kind of going along and listening and 
See what that looks like here. I won't go, eh, let's go full on and hit S. Not. Okay, so we get to the not here. Remember that I'm looking for generalizations. Okay, and if you look at your mouth while you're speaking, you're going to see it kind of goes into these ovals. It kind of goes wide and it goes up. So I'm just doing things a little bit back and forth here and just trying to get the general shape. And and let, okay, let's going to be tricky because let is really when the L touches the roof of your mouth. So let's take this back here. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and hit S on this and see what that is. <laughs> and I'm sitting here making mouth shapes as I'm doing this. Okay. And the let, and then it kind of goes out and fades back a little bit here. And then we go to U, and so that's another ooey kind of face again. Get, and so we might hold that for like a frame. And get is going to go and turn this ooh off, and we're going to get this S again. And I might even just open the mouth a little bit with this. Okay. And then we get into this one here, and I'm just going to turn that S face off, and I'm going to get... And I'm going to go here to the way, and let's turn this off, and I'm going to get the ooh. Okay, turn that off. I'm gonna get this one here. Boop. Turn this off here. And this, I need the tongue to touch the uh, between my teeth here. This. So I'm going to try and fake it with a little bit of an ooey kind of face without doing a whole lot. And we go to an S face. Let's turn this off and let's get a little bit of S in here. And then I'm just going to turn it off. Let's see what that looks like. We will not let you get away with this. Right here. It's a little soft. There's a couple spots in here where I can go in and play with that, but I've kind of got it. Um, and there you have it. Okay, and I might do a little bit more playing around with this. Um, <clears throat> and I'll keep going, but I think you get the general idea. Uh, one other thing you can do here is something I like is I've got the smile left and right over here. And so if I go into the graph editor with this selected, you can see all the keyframes here for my um, blend shapes here. What the hell's all that stuff? Input target group weights. Okay, I don't care about that. Um, but we can go here to the smiles, and those are all flatlined. Okay, so there was no um, animation on the smiles. Like, I just went and nailed all my phonemes, basically. Um, then what I can do... <laughs> away. Let's use it right here and I can go in and put in the, what have I got on? The move tool. If I hold down shift, I can pull this up. And and also, what if we went to do something a little bit opposite here? I'm going to grab a couple of keyframes and I'm going to pull those down. And you can actually make us turn that smile upside down. You can offset it. You can make it so that you've got just one smile. And I think in this one here, uh, when I look, um, when you see Greta talking, hard to tell in this one. Yeah, I might only want one side to do something, right? So 
Um, here, I might even take that one and pull it down a bit further. Pull this one into it. And here, I might even take that smile one here from this side here and go up. Okay, and let's just check it out again. Go to the first frame. We will not let you get away with this. Right? Yeah, and um, <clears throat> there you have it. Doing some slow, quick little tricks with the blend shapes. And I think I'm going to stop this one here.